So I got inspired to rant about a concept that I find endlessly irritating. And that is the concept of a um, political spectrum. And of course, you know what I'm talking about. You got a line and then you got a left and a right. And then you got a center and this is like a continuous thing and it's also like a metric space so you can like you know you can you can there's an order and you can sort of go you know farther or left or right and the sort of idea that there's a center that is neutral and of course you know you can embellish this to you know stick another dimension on it and call it a political compass where you've got your like left and right and you know, authoritarian and libertarian or whatever the heck you feel like putting there. And I just kind of, I find this exhibits a property. So like the notion of like an ordering is, is, is problematic to me, but also um, what I would call uh, false chirality. And by that, I mean like, Chirality is the property of like reflection symmetry. So it's like, you know, like your hands are chiral because they are like the mirror image of each other. And the issue that I have is that this sort of like, you know, imposes or like suppo supposes, imputes a symmetry that I, I don't think is actually there. And the reason for that is because where the concept of like political left and right come from is you got a throne room with the throne here looking down from the top where the king sits and to the right of the king you've got the aristocracy and to the left of the king you have the peasants and so there's not really any kind of ideological content that's sort of implied by this in, in the initial configuration other than like the aristocracy obviously wants whatever the king wants and the, you know, the peasants are like left to fend for themselves. And so, you know, this sort of like notion that, you know, there's like some sort of inherent content of like, you know, like the right is capitalist and the left is socialist or something like that. Like, you know, that all, all that stuff came later. And of course, you know, the concept of a center, there is no, unless the king is the center, there is no center. There's a gap. There's actually like an aisle in the middle. And you can see this in parliaments like Canada or the UK, of course, and, you know, Australia, New Zealand, whatever. So the concept that I, I think is a better concept, and I'll get into why in a second, is like a phase space. And the reason why I think that is because I actually think that like what we typically ascribe to the right is like, you know, again, it's like incumbent, conservative, whatever. And the left is like everything that's not that. And so that's why I think that the like, you know, the chirality, the sort of like symmetry is, is, a, is no bueno. Uh, but the... What, what's interesting, like the reason why I sort of think of it like a, like a phase space, and this is the phase space of water, is because you have like pressure going, it's this log uh, uh, linear, so you've got like pressure going up to the top and then like temperature going up to the right, temperature linear, or like at least as linear as temperature is, and um, pressure is going to be logarithmic, but the thought that I had was kind of like, like the one thing that you can sort of say about the, like what it gets called the right is that it is like really easy to understand. Like, like all of the stuff that they care about is like 
real straightforward like it's all like you look say what you will about like you know whether you like it or not like you can always understand it and what like the what gets called the left is like everybody else's concerns like every other person's like issues are all piled into this space and so if you were going to draw that like i would i mean first of all i would start like by flipping it around like um so that I would say, cause like, you know, left, like, so I would say like temperature goes left, um, pressure can still go up. It's fine. Um, because we don't, I mean, or maybe pressure, goes, I don't know. You could say pressure goes down. It doesn't really matter. Um, because you know, you've got this, yeah, like maybe actually let's just say like one over P or something like that. So you've got this sort of like, you know, like phase space of like, like the idea is, is like the, the like what gets called the right, like its ideas are solid. Um, and then like what gets called the left is like a gas, you know, and then there might be like liquid in here or whatever. And because it's like, you know, it's like you can't grab it. There's particles, you know, flying all over the place. And, you know, you can't get your arms around it. You can't put it in a container, you know, and it's just kind of all over the place. So that's kind of like my, my mental model is it's asymmetric. It's actually like, it's actually asymmetric where again, like the ideas of the right wing, like, you know, they're not particularly good, but what they are is like easily understood. Like they are understandable. Um, and that's, that's kind of like what gives them their power is that like, you know, like, again, like you don't need to be very educated to understand them. Like you don't need to be very smart. You don't need to know a lot of theory. You don't need to read a lot of books. You don't need to go to graduate school. Like you can, you can, you know, like roll out of a freaking you know, barn and, and, and get, like understand it and it's always like i mean what it, it tends to be is it tends to suck right? like it tends to be like retrograde it tends to be like you know debunked it tends to be just like just generally kind of poor quality ideas uh, which is kind of funny because like you know the buckleyite kind of conservatives are always like oh we all conservatism is about ideas you know you listen you know you i don't know like you look at like Cicero or Machiavelli or whatever, where they're like, those guys were, of course they were conservatives, but they were like pro establishment. So it, it doesn't surprise me that of course they would like, you know, be proponents of stuff that was, you know, generally preserved, conserved, um, the, um, incumbent power structures. So anyway, that's my rant. Going to finish my coffee.